If you are a man over 50 years old, this is something you cannot ignore. What happens to your prostate when you masturbate daily can be surprising or concerning, because although many believe it is harmless, science reveals effects that almost no one talks about. Does it really help your prostate, or could it be damaging it without you realizing it? Your prostate is more important than you think. It is a small organ, about the size of a walnut, but its role in your male health is enormous. However, as you age, your prostate begins to change. Perhaps you have already noticed some symptoms, more frequent trips to the bathroom at night, a weaker urine stream, or even discomfort that you did not experience before. And this is where the big question arises. Can masturbation be a solution to keeping your prostate healthy? Or are you doing something that, in the long run, could work against you? Today, we are going to explore what really happens to your prostate when you masturbate frequently. We will debunk myths, clarify truths, and most importantly, help you make informed decisions to take care of your health. Stay until the end, because this could change the way you see your own body. One of the most common arguments in favor of masturbation is that it helps clean the prostate, eliminating toxins and reducing the risk of diseases. But how true is this? When a man ejaculates, a series of muscular contractions occur in the prostate and the pelvic area. These contractions expel prostatic fluid, which contains substances such as zinc, citric acid, and specialized proteins. Dead cells and accumulated toxins are also removed. In theory, this sounds like a positive thing, and in a way, it is. Studies have shown that frequent ejaculation can help prevent prostatic congestion, a condition where fluids build up in the gland, causing discomfort and inflammation. But here is the detail that few mention. Although masturbation can help prevent congestion, it does not mean it is a magical solution. In fact, there is a balance you need to maintain. If you masturbate too frequently, you could be causing the opposite effect. Why? Because the prostate is not just responsible for producing seminal fluid. It is also an extremely hormone-sensitive gland, especially to male hormones like testosterone and its more potent derivative, dihydrotestosterone, DHT. When a man ejaculates, there is a slight temporary decrease in DHT levels. Some researchers have suggested that this could be beneficial in preventing prostate enlargement. However, if ejaculation is excessive and frequent, hormonal levels may fluctuate too much, potentially disrupting the natural balance of the prostate. So, let's return to the key question. Does masturbation really clean the prostate? Yes, but within a balance. Doing it in moderation can help reduce prostate congestion and maintain a healthy fluid flow. But if you overdo it, you could be affecting other hormonal functions that also play a role in prostate health. The key is not just masturbation, but overall lifestyle. And that brings us to the next critical point, the impact of masturbation on your hormones. Now that we understand how ejaculation physically affects the prostate, let's talk about something even more important, hormones. Your prostate is a hormonally dependent organ. It is directly influenced by testosterone and, more specifically, by dihydrotestosterone, DHT. DHT is a more potent version of testosterone, and while it is essential for male development, it also has a darker side. It is the main factor responsible for prostate enlargement as men age. Here's the interesting part. Some research suggests that frequent masturbation may temporarily reduce DHT levels, which could help prevent overstimulation of the prostate. But this does not mean that more is better. The problem arises when masturbation becomes excessive. If you ejaculate too frequently, you could be causing fluctuations in your hormonal levels. Testosterone affects not just the prostate, but also energy production, mood, and libido. Some studies suggest that excessive ejaculation could temporarily lower free testosterone levels in the body leading to symptoms such as fatigue, lack of motivation, and decreased sexual desire. But that's not all. There is another factor that few people consider, the impact on the brain's dopamine balance. When you masturbate, you release dopamine, 
the pleasure neurotransmitter. This is completely natural, but if you do it excessively, your brain may become less sensitive to dopamine, meaning you will need more stimulation to feel the same level of satisfaction. This is why some men report feeling drained after a phase of excessive masturbation, not just due to fluid loss, but because their hormonal and neurotransmitter levels have been altered. So, what is the conclusion here? Masturbation affects your hormones, but not in a simple way as many believe. If done in moderation, it can be part of a healthy balance. But if it becomes an excessive habit, it could contribute to hormonal imbalances that affect your energy, mood, and long-term prostate health. That's why it is crucial to understand how much is too much and how to find a balance that benefits both your prostate and your overall well-being. And speaking of problems that can arise in the prostate, there is a condition that many men are unaware of, but that can become a nightmare if left untreated. Prostate inflammation. If there is one thing that can make a man's life uncomfortable and frustrating, it's prostate inflammation. It's not something discussed in everyday conversations, but if you have ever felt that sensation of pressure in the lower abdomen, burning while urinating, or persistent pain with no clear cause, you could be dealing with prostatitis. But here comes the big question. Does masturbation have any effect on prostate inflammation? Before answering that, you need to understand how prostate inflammation works. Contrary to what many believe, it is not always caused by an infection. In fact, in most cases, chronic prostate inflammation is non-infectious, meaning it is not due to bacteria, but rather a combination of factors such as oxidative stress, cellular aging, and the accumulation of toxins in prostate tissue. When the prostate is inflamed, it can swell and put pressure on the bladder and urethra which explains why some men feel an urgent need to urinate, even when their bladder is not completely full. Where does masturbation fit into all of this? On one hand, frequent ejaculation can help maintain the flow of fluids in the prostate, preventing the buildup of secretions that could contribute to inflammation. In theory, this is a positive thing. But there is a problem. If masturbation becomes an excessive habit, there could be a rebound effect. Frequent ejaculation causes a series of muscular contractions in the pelvic area, and if those muscles become overworked, they may further irritate an already inflamed prostate, worsening symptoms instead of relieving them. That is why, in cases of chronic prostatitis, doctors usually recommend a balance between sexual activity and prostate rest. In other words, neither total abstinence nor excessive ejaculation is advisable. But here is another critical factor, your diet and lifestyle play a much bigger role in prostate inflammation than masturbation itself. If you consume a lot of ultra-processed foods, rich in trans fats and sugars, you are fueling inflammation throughout your body, including your prostate. The same goes for alcohol and tobacco. On the other hand, foods like tomatoes, rich in lycopene, nuts, green tea, and fatty fish have been shown to have anti-inflammatory effects on the prostate. So, does masturbation help or worsen prostate inflammation? It depends. In a healthy man, moderate ejaculation can be beneficial. But if chronic inflammation is already present, overstimulation could make the situation worse. The key is balance and complementing it with a healthy lifestyle. And speaking of serious prostate issues, there is a concern we cannot ignore. Prostate cancer. Let's talk about one of the most feared diseases among older men, prostate cancer. If you are over 50 years old, you have probably already heard about the importance of getting medical checkups and monitoring PSA, prostate-specific antigen levels. But there is one question that continues to spark debate. Can masturbation reduce the risk of prostate cancer? The answer is not simple, but science provides some interesting insights. A study conducted by Harvard University found that men who ejaculated at least 21 times per month had a lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to those who ejaculated less frequently. Why could this happen? There are several theories. Expulsion of potentially carcinogenic substances. By ejaculating frequently, 
the prostate is regularly cleansed of toxins and inflammatory agents that could accumulate over time. Reduced prostate congestion. As we mentioned earlier, maintaining a healthy flow of prostatic secretions could help prevent chronic inflammation, which in some cases may evolve into abnormal cells. Hormonal impact. Although ejaculation temporarily reduces DHT levels, it is still unclear whether this effect plays a direct role in preventing prostate cancer. However, here's the most important fact. Frequent ejaculation is not a guarantee that you will never develop prostate cancer. It is just one factor among a set of habits that can help reduce the risk. Maintaining a diet rich in antioxidants, exercising regularly, and undergoing medical checkups are even more effective strategies. Moreover, there is something else that many men overlook. Prostate cancer does not always present symptoms in its early stages. Many men only discover the disease once it has already progressed, which is why prevention and regular screenings are essential. If you have a family history of prostate cancer, it is even more important to talk to your doctor about tests like PSA screening and digital rectal exams. If there is one thing that few men consider when it comes to prostate health, it is the impact that emotions and stress can have on this organ. Have you ever noticed that during times of high stress, your body reacts in unexpected ways? Muscle pain, insomnia, digestive issues, and yes, even urinary and sexual symptoms. This is not a coincidence. The prostate and the nervous system are more connected than you might think. When we are stressed, our body releases cortisol, the stress hormone. And while cortisol is useful in small amounts, when it remains elevated for prolonged periods, it begins to cause problems throughout the body, including the prostate. Here are some direct effects of stress on prostate health. Chronic inflammation. Prolonged stress can trigger inflammatory responses in the body, which could worsen conditions like chronic prostatitis. Increased pelvic tension. The pelvic floor muscles can involuntarily tighten due to stress, causing discomfort, a sensation of pressure in the prostate, and even difficulty urinating. Impact on libido and erectile function. High levels of stress not only affect the prostate, but also testosterone production, which can decrease libido and lead to occasional erectile dysfunction. Many men who suffer from chronic prostatitis non-bacterial prostate inflammation, have experienced significant improvement when they learn to manage stress. And that brings us to the key question. How can you protect your prostate from the effects of stress? Here are some effective strategies. Relaxation exercises. Deep breathing and meditation can reduce cortisol levels and help relax the pelvic floor muscles. Regular physical activity. Activities like walking, swimming, or yoga can improve circulation and reduce tension in the pelvic area. Avoid excessive stimulants. Caffeine and alcohol can increase tension in the bladder and prostate, so reducing their consumption can make a big difference. Biofeedback techniques. Some studies have shown that men with chronic pelvic tension can benefit from biofeedback to learn how to relax their muscles. The key here is to understand that prostate health does not depend only on ejaculation and diet, but also on your emotional and mental well-being. And speaking of well-being, there is a topic that has become increasingly relevant as men age. How to keep the prostate in optimal condition without relying solely on ejaculation. Throughout this video, we have talked a lot about the effects of masturbation on the prostate. But the reality is that ejaculation is not the only factor that determines prostate health. If you truly want to take care of your prostate and ensure it functions well as you age, you need a more comprehensive strategy. None of the above will be effective if you don't monitor your prostate health with regular medical exams. If you are over 50 years old, it is recommended to get a PSA, prostate-specific antigen test, at least once a year. This can detect changes in the prostate before they become serious problems. It is also essential to consult a urologist if you notice any changes in your urinary or sexual health. The earlier a problem is detected, the easier it is to treat. So, 
What's the conclusion? Masturbation can be a useful tool for prostate health, but it is not the only important factor. If you truly want to take care of your prostate in the long run, you must adopt a holistic approach that includes a healthy diet, exercise, stress management, and regular medical checkups. And here is where we close with a final reflection. Your prostate will be with you for life. Take care of it as you would any other vital organ in your body. We have reached the key point of all this. After all the information we have shared, there is one question only you can answer. What will you do with what you have learned today? Many men ignore their prostate health until symptoms appear. It's a common mistake. But now you have the advantage of knowledge. You know that masturbation can play a role in prostate cleansing, but that it is not a magical solution. You know that hormonal balance, diet, exercise, and stress management are just as important. So, how can you apply this to your daily life? Remember, prostate health is not something you should only worry about when problems arise. It is something you can start taking care of today. And if you have made it this far, it's because you truly care about your well-being. So, tell me, what change will you make in your life starting today? If you found this information useful, subscribe now for more content that helps you take care of your health and improve your quality of life. See you in the next video.